girl Shalana back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the states that are giving $300 per month for parents to drive their children to school instead of riding the school bus. OMG. Now guys, this money can be used for transportation on Uber, Lyft, buses, trains, or even in your own pocket. So if you want to know how you can earn an extra $3,600 per year, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy, click the big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that. And while you're at it guys, if you do not have Amazon Prime, honey, you are missing out, okay? You can get your items to you within 48 hours. They have so many deals that are going on. You can watch movies, you can get Kindle. It's so many things to do on Amazon, guys, and I'm going to allow you to try it out for free. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and you get it for 30 days free on me. Now guys, there is a shortage of school bus drivers all across the country, which have been causing delays in the start of school as well as after school related activities. So to solve this issue, a lot of schools are considering or now have even started giving money as a reward to parents. So parents can get paid to like take their children to school and they can either get this money as for the distance driven, such as like mileage, some states are even offering like monthly payments amounts, which is like $300 per month. And then some states will pay if you want to do half of a one-way trip. So if you just want to take your child to school or pick them up. So for example, Eastside Charter School, they will pay you $700 for the year to drop off your child and pick your child up from school. But if you have like three children, then that's $2,100 that you would get. So you can use this driving reimbursement stipend for like if you're carpooling with other students. Um, and like I said, if you want to use it just for other services, Uber, Lyft, public transportation. Now I'll let you know, all right? If you do not own a car, okay, this video may not be useful for you right now, but it's all good, right? We all gotta start somewhere. When you get you some wheels, come on back and we'll go ahead, this video will help you out, all right? So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with the states that are paying out the money, honey. All right, so first we are headed to Philadelphia, go Eagles. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan. This is an Eagle household here. Now, parents are being offered $3,000 to drive kids to school amidst the bus driver shortage that is impacting the city. So in Philadelphia, they have what is called a flat rate program that will offer each household $300 a month or $3,000 a year. They also offer the option for families to receive $150 per month or $1,500 for a year. And that's if you transport your child to school in the morning, but then they can still utilize like the bus in the afternoon, a van, cab services, or whatever they may need to to get home. Now the application for the program can be found on the district's website, but I think this is significant because it can help the family. So like, say that your children are attending a school that's on your way to work, then to me it's like it's a win-win because now you are already going to drive that way. You can get money for you going to work and dropping your child off. But parents must submit this form monthly in Philadelphia requesting service. There is an open enrollment for this school year. Now it does end on September 30th, according to the School District of Philadelphia spokesperson, Monique Braxton. Now payments can take up to 30 days to process as well, but there is like multiple factors that determine the student's eligibility, including one, you got to be a Philly resident. Okay, Philly, Philly, what up Philly? Now you have to live at least 1.5 miles away from the school and then also be in grades from the first through the fifth grade and have an individualized education plan. Other eligibility options can be found on the program's website as well. But the school district of Philadelphia, they currently have about 210 bus driver openings as well as 105 openings that are still available. So they are still trying to entice um, more drivers with like higher pays, 
um, even paying for like their CDL license as well. And then these drivers, they can earn up to like 45,000 a year if they want to be full time, about 23,000 for part time, but trainees can make up to 18K per year. So, I mean, you know, if you wanted to, if you're looking for a job and you wanted to get in that field right now, business is booming for the bus drivers. But as the district works to address the bus driver shortage, leaders want people to know about this flat rate program as well. So let me know, what do you think about the program? $3,000 per year to take your child to school. Is this something that even interests you or not? All right, so for next, we are headed to North Carolina, Wake County, North Carolina, where they are giving $500 a month for school transportation reimbursement as well. Now, the Wake County Public School System Program, they allow a stipend amount up to $25 per day or up to $500 per month. Now, this stipend is only offered to students who are currently assigned a seat on a contracted vendor transportation. So they already have to have a seat and maybe that this uh, transportation come and pick them up as well. But this stipend is not included for other students right now, including students that are assigned to the yellow bus. So according to their district's website, it states that documents are required for anyone who wants to participate in this stipend program as well. So in Wake County, they do have a parent contract transportation reimbursement ag agreement as well. You can find this on the website. They are requiring you to show that you have active automobile insurance as well. This includes like a declaration page um, with valid dates or even copies of the insurance card. You must have a valid North Carolina driver's license as well. And then each month, people that are participating in the program, there are required documents that you have to submit as well. So that includes like a daily stipend log, um, the parent reimbursement form, and then on that stipend log, like where did you go on there to get your child to work? Then they also are gonna look at your child's attendance as well being in school. So they're gonna contact to verify and make sure that you took your child to school, okay? Don't be trying to cheat the system out here, all right? So it's a lot for these programs, but the main thing is that anyone that has questions about the North Carolina program, you can actually dial 919-805-3030 and they have option number five and they can walk you through this program as well. Now let's go ahead and head over to Wyoming, Albany County. They are reimbursing as well for rural travel expenses. Now, a lot of these programs guys happened or came out during the pandemic because a lot of people did not want their children riding the school bus. But I mean, hey, but now we are in definite need of it. But parents in rural areas of Albany County School District number one, you may be eligible to receive reimbursements for transportation and relocation costs. So public school students living three or more miles away from a school or bus route, then you are eligible for reimbursement as well for the transportation costs. Now in Wyoming, they're going to do mileage that will be calculated starting two miles from the student's resident to the nearest bus stop and then another two miles from the bus stop to being transported home. So for students or parents who drive themselves from like rural locations, then they will have reimbursements that are available and they're gonna start by applying, like I said, that two miles from your residence to the nearest bus stop and then from your bus stop back as well. So it's not really, I guess, you taking your child all the way to school as well, but for parents that are needing to relocate during the school year so your child can attend school, then the district say they will pay part of your relocation expense as well. But state law does require for parents to sign a statement certifying their ability to earn a substantial portion of their family income is directly related to and enhanced by residing in the location to be considered for this reimbursement for transportation or even maintenance expenses as well. So I think that's good. I mean, they're only paying mileage in Wyoming, but you can have the applications for reimbursements. They have to be completed each year. So it's not a monthly expense like it was in North Carolina or in Philadelphia as well. But then also with the application for transportation or maintenance, maintenance or even um, 
the isolated pupil, then it must be received by September 6th as well. And then they'll approve it or deny it at the September Board of Education meeting as well. So once again, this is another thing. Now, Chicago Public Schools, they are doing this as well due to the diverse learners amid the bus driver shortage as well. So like I said, this is happening all across the country. If I don't mention your state, there are states that are doing this. All you have to do is just do a quick search. You guys know how I am. I find a few stories and I bring it here. But in Chicago, state law requires that districts provide transportation for diverse learners or those who have an individual education plan, also known as an IEP requested. So parents had, I think um, it was like last Friday was the deadline to submit, but they can still submit as well. So for diverse learners, they can opt for a financial stipend. And this stipend is about $500 a month based on the school that they attend. Now for the thousands of other students who are just like, not diverse learners or just say they are temporarily housed, then CPS will offer them like a CTA venture card. So I'm guessing this is like the school bus in Chicago for the school year as well. So if your child is not going to ride the school bus, then they can actually get on the city bus and they will pay or give them cards for that. Next, we are headed to Patterson, New Jersey, where they are offering payments as well. Now, parents who don't want their children riding buses operated by a company accused of hiring unqualified drivers. So I guess there was like this big issue where one of the um, owners of a company of a school bus system in New Jersey, they had like some sketchy stuff on their record and made a lot of parents did not want their children riding that bus. Parents are being offered $5.67 per day to get their kids to school on their own. So the Patterson District made this offer to about 410 families who children are based on routes that are covered by the American Star Transportation. So far, no one has taken up on that offer, but you can get it as well. Next, we are headed to Western New York, where parents can get a $10 gas card to drive their kids to school as well. So the Buffalo Public School Board agreed on two things after several meetings for their resolution to the bus driver shortage. And one of the things that they proposed last week is to one, go ahead and install a system of gasoline cards for parents who drive their kids to school with the gas cars amounting to about $10 each day, citing that these gas cars will be enough incentive for parents to get their kids to school on time as well. So as of right now, it seems like a lot of states are coming along. I want to say in California, I found some other places that were doing this. Illinois had other places. I looked in Georgia. Louisiana decided to go ahead and just offer bus drivers an additional amount where they can actually get paid an incentive or a bonus for becoming a bus driver. So yeah, this is where we are at in 2023. I mean, I never thought I'd see the day where school buses do not pick up children, where now parents can drive their children to school. But I know here in Huntsville, Alabama, um, maybe about a few years ago, there was a severe accident where one of the school buses fell off the highway and a lot of children were injured and even some were killed. And that was a big thing here as well. So, you know, with school buses, there's a lot of fighting that be going on. They're not as safe as they used to be. But let me know down in the comments below, would these paid incentives now encourage you or entice you to drive your child to school? What do you think about mileage versus a monthly payment or even, you know, public transportation as well would you allow your child to get that but remember guys you can still get this stipend amount and just say if you and Johnny next door and maybe Sierra's parents across the street decide that hey this week I'll drive all the kids to school next week you'll do it you can still get this payment for carpooling as well so I mean it's almost like a child tax credit for taking your own children to school let me know down below what do you think. As always, grab you some Amazon Prime. Try it out free for 30 days on your girl. And then please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And that's all I have. I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.